Hi friends, in this video we are solving problems on mean value theorem. Given problem is use Lagrange's mean value theorem prove that mod of sin x minus sin y which is less than or is equal to mod of x minus y for all x comma y belongs to R. This R is here real number system. That is nothing but x comma y are real numbers. So first you see friends, we have to know the Lagrange's mean value theorem. The Lagrange's mean value theorem, actually Lagrange's mean value theorem is called first mean value theorem. If f of x is defined on a closed interval a comma b, which is first step is continuous on closed interval a comma b and differentiable on open interval a comma b, differentiable on open interval a comma b, then there exists at least one point c belongs to open interval a comma b, which is such that f dash of c is equal to f of b minus f of a by b minus a. This is Lagrange's mean value theorem. So, to prove this inequality, we have to consider f of t is equal to sin t, okay, in the interval x comma y. We know that a sine function is a trigonometric function which is a continuous. So, f of t is continuous on closed interval x comma y and also f of t is differentiable. Differentiable is nothing but what is the derivative of cos t, uh, derivative of sin t? It's cos t only. Cos t is also exist on open interval x comma y. Yes or no? Yes. So, by LMVT which is satisfies the LMVT of two conditions. Yes or no? f of t is satisfying Lagrange's mean value theorem two properties. So, we can apply LMVT. So, by Lagrange's mean value theorem, there exists C belongs to open interval x comma y, which is such that f of b minus f of a by b minus a form, yes or no, which is equivalent to f dash of c. In place of b, what I have? y. In place of a, what I have? x. So, substitute a is equal to x and b is equal to y and also we need to find out f dash of c. How you can get f dash of c means first you have to find out f dash of t. Later in place of t we have to substitute c value. Friends, if f of t is equal to sin t, then f dash of t is equal to we have cos t, which is implies f dash of c is equal to cos c. Okay. Now we are applying the Lagrange's mean value theorem. Then f dash of c is what you have cos c which is, is equal to f of b means what is f of t sin t then f of x is cos x what is the b we have y so we can write this is sin y minus what is f of a sin x divided by b minus a b minus a means what y minus x okay now actually we have to prove mod of sin x minus sin y which is less than or is equal to mod of x minus y yes or no but here you observe, we have sin y minus sin x divided by y minus x. So, if I take a minus is a common from this, I can get a sin x minus sin y. In the numerator, I have negative sign. Similarly, I can take a negative common from the denominator, I can get a x minus y. In this case, numerator and denominator uh, negative sign getting cancelled, then I will have cos c is equal to this one. Now, what do you have to prove? mod of sin x minus sin y which is less than or is equal to x minus y. So, now mod of sin x minus sin y, I am considering, this is equal to, can I write like this you see, mod of sin x minus sin y, I am dividing with x minus y and multiplying with x minus y, can I do like this or not, yes or no, if I written in the numerator and denominator, these are getting cancelled and uh, same time LHS is equal to RHS in this case. Now, what you can write from the above equation? You can write sin x minus sin y by x minus y values cos c. So, this will be cos c into x minus y. Okay. Friends, this is mod of a b formula. So, you can write mod a into mod b. So, this will be mod of cos c into mod of x minus y. We know that uh, mod of cos c, nothing but absolute value of cos c. Cos c lies between minus 1 and 1. So, mod of cos c is less than or is equal to 1. 
which is less than or is equal to 1 into mod x minus y is mod of x minus y. So, what you can say? Mod of sin x minus sin y is less than or is equal to mod of x minus y. Is it clear friends? Similarly, you can prove mod of cos x minus cos y is less than or is equal to mod x y. Okay. Same method. Just in, in place of sin, you have to consider f of t as a cos x only. If you want, you can note down. 